we hear the word statistics, it is generally referring to one of two things. All right. Either it refers to statistical data or statistical methods. When it refers to statistical data, it means the numerical description of things, right? And this is usually obtained by observation, counting, or taking measurements. So for example, when we say the statistics of tuberculosis in Nigeria, this would mean the number of positive cases, the number of deaths, the sex distribution of cases, the age distribution of cases, and so on. But on the other hand, when statistics refers to statistical methods, this is just a body of methods that we use for collecting, organizing, analysis, and interpretation of numerical data for decision making, all right, or for making wise decisions. For example, we say the study of statistics. So we can say a student studied statistics as a science or a teacher teaches statistics. Okay. So, but we want to forge a little further ahead. When we talk about statistical data, now, even though we said statistical data refers to numerical description of things, not all numerical descriptions can be regarded as statistics. Okay. So statistical data always denotes numerical descriptions. But not all numerical descriptions can be said to be statistics. For numerical descriptions to be regarded as statistics, they must possess seven main characteristics. The first characteristic is that the statistics must be numerically expressed. So it must be expressed in numbers. When you express something in this format, for example, you say Nigeria is now using HL7 messaging. This statement does not constitute statistics. Or when you say the cases of COVID-19 is reducing in Nigeria, this does not constitute statistics. But when you give a statement like in 2022, the number of deaths due to COVID-19 in Nigeria reduced from 1,200 compared to 2,000 in 2021, this can be called statistics. So for any statement to be called statistics, it must be expressed in numbers or it must be numerically expressed. The second thing is statistics are aggregates of facts, so they must be in aggregates. Now, a single number cannot be called statistics. For example, we, don't, we can't say the weight of an individual or the price of a certain commodity to be statistics. No way, as you cannot relate to this or compare this with anything. However, aggregates such as births, deaths, accidents, etc. can constitute statistics as these figures can be studied or observed in relation to time, place, as well as even the frequency in which these things occur. So for any numerical data or numerical description to be termed statistical data, it must be in aggregates. The third thing is that it must have multiple causes. So statistics are affected to a great extent by multiplicity of causes. Numerical figures should be affected by large number of causes. For example, when we say statistics of malaria, we know that this is affected by various factors such as the amount of rainfall in the area, the season, the presence of female anopheles mosquitoes, the type of weather conditions, etc. For you to have numerical descriptions uh, being called statistical data, they must be affected to the large extent by multiplicity of causes. The fourth characteristic is that this must be accurate. The statistics are usually enumerated or estimated according to a reasonable standard of accuracy. Data may be collected either by actual counting or by measurement. And when you obtain figures by counting or by measurement, this should be exact and accurate, not just mere estimates. Okay. So the next characteristic, which is very important, is that statistics should be collected in a systematic manner. Okay. A suitable plan should be prepared for data collection. If the data is collected haphazardously, the conclusions that may result from this will be wrong or even misleading. So for we to call numerical descriptions statistical data that we can use for decision making, this data must be collected or must have been collected in a systematic manner. The sixth, the data must have been collected for a predetermined purpose. The objective or purpose of any inquiry should be clearly stated before collecting the data. Data collected without any predetermined purpose or objective or goal may not be useful in any kind of statistical inquiry. For the last characteristic, statistics must be capable of being placed in relation to each other. That means they must be comparable. For example, when we say the number of deaths due to malaria for different years will constitute statistics as you can compare that 
of one year to another year, right? But when you are talking about the height of a student and his IQ, that's the intelligence quotient, these do not constitute statistics as you can't compare these two things. There's no basis for comparison. So numerical data should be comparable and as statistics are collected mostly for a particular purpose and that purpose is even a lot of times for comparison. The numerical data collected constitutes statistics only if they are comparable. And in order to make valid comparisons, the data is expected to be homogeneous and uniform. These are the characteristics of statistical data. The data must be expressed in numbers, it must be in aggregates, multiplicity of courses, it must be accurate, it must be collected in a systematic manner, it must be collected for a particular purpose, and it must be comparable. So from all that has been said about statistical data, I'm sure you'll agree with me that all statistics are numerical statement of facts. But not all numerical statements of facts can be called statistics. Well, as for statistical methods, we rightly said in the beginning that it is a branch of science, right? So you can have a situation where you have students studying statistics or a teacher teaching statistics since it's a science that can be taught or can be learned, right? So, but it's a branch of science and the main purpose of this branch of science is that it helps us to understand things. So it helps us to understand something by collecting, organizing, analysis and interpreting interpretation of numerical data about that thing itself you know so it helps us to understand this thing by collecting organizing analysis and interpretation of numerical data about that thing on that study and when we're able to collect this data we can now use it for decision making all right now when different statistical methods are applied on biological medical or public health data this is called biostatistics i'm going to repeat this again when different statistical methods are applied on biological medical and public health data this is called biostatistics so we can simply define biostatistics as the application of statistical methods to numerical data in health related fields including medicine biology and public health for decision making all right so biostatistics is basically applying statistical methods to biology and health fields it's worthy of mention here that the father of biostatistics is none other than Sir Francis Galton. In summary, we started by saying statistics can refer to one of two things, either statistical data or statistical methods. When it's data, it refers to numerical description of things. And when it refers to methods, it's the science that deals with collection, organization, analysis, and interpretation of numerical data for decision making. All right, we went ahead and we said that not all numerical descriptions are statistics. And so there are seven characteristics that make numerical descriptions eligible to be called statistics. As for statistical methods, when these statistical methods are used on biological and health-related numerical data, it is called biostatistics. And the father of biostatistics is none other than Sir Francis Galton. All right, folks, that's all we have for you today. I want to close by asking a simple question. Since Sir Francis Galton is the father of biostatistics, then who is the father of statistics? Please put your responses in the comment section below. And if you gain value in this video, then a sub to the channel will be highly appreciated. In our next video, we are going to talk about the different branches of statistics. So see you in the next video. But until then, peace.